What is up beautiful people and welcome back to Nursing Basics. My name is Ronald Cameron. This is a nursing YouTube channel. It's pretty much just to help anybody out, nursing students, medical students, honestly, whoever can benefit from it. In this video, you're gonna be learning about first degree AV block or first degree heart block. So let's do this. So first, what is a heart block? So I dumbed it down. A heart block is when the electrical conduction system of the heart is not working correctly. So if you notice, you can look at the title too, it's called first degree AV block. Those two letters, AV, should tell you that this is a problem that's occurring in the atrioventricular node of the heart. If you need a refresher, I did make a video on the electrical conduction system. Link in the description. The AV node is responsible for connecting the electrical impulses from the atria, the upper chambers of the heart to the ventricles, the lower chambers of the heart. I also made a video on that, link down below, check it out. With a heart block, electrical signals from the AV node are either partially or completely blocked depending on what type of heart block you're in. Now what you're thinking, there's more than one? Yes, there are actually three types of heart block. There's first degree heart block, second degree heart block, now, second degree heart block is kind of broken down into two subtypes. There's second degree type one and second degree type two. And then finally, there is third degree. All right, now let's talk about the rate, rhythm, QRS, QT, PR, all that stuff for a first degree heart block. The rate in a first degree AV block, you'll usually have a normal rate. Now, what's normal? 60 to 100 beats per minute. Rhythm, so the rhythm in a first degree heart block is regular. So that just means if you were to measure from one R to the next R on an ECG strip, they'd all be equidistant from each other. So yeah, it's a regular rhythm. And let's talk about P waves. So the P wave, it's also normal. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the P wave and the QRS complex is also normal, has nothing wrong with it. And same with the QT. So what the heck is wrong with a first degree heart block? Now, if you noticed, I left out the PR interval because that is where you will find an abnormality on an ECG strip. So in a first degree heart block, the PR interval is much longer than 0.20 seconds. In order to be able to determine this on an ECG, you'd actually have to measure it with calipers, like those little pointy things that, yeah, so you can measure from the beginning of the P to the R. If you're fancy and have a computer, that's great. That's gonna make things much more accurate. So this is the P wave, QRS complex, T wave, okay? From the beginning of the P to the beginning of the QRS, that's the PR interval. For first degree AV block, we're only focusing on the PR interval. So yeah, again, normal is anywhere from 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. So in a first degree AV block, this P wave is going to be way the heck over this way and not near the QRS complex. Versus a normal sinus rhythm, this P wave is usually right next to the QRS complex and within that time threshold, 12 to 20. Again, you'll have to measure it. So now that we've got those little basics touched on, we're going to pop up an ECG on the screen. I'm gonna show you guys normal sinus rhythm and a first degree AV block. So on the top portion of the screen, you will see a normal sinus rhythm. There is a P wave before each QRS complex, there's a QRS complex and a T wave, and they are all normal. Everything is normal on the top one. On the bottom portion, you will see a first degree AV block. Now, look at that P wave and look how far away that is from the QRS complex. That dude is a straggler and he is way too far away from the QRS complex to be normal sinus rhythm. So yeah, if you need more time, pause the video, remember it's a video, and we're gonna wrap this up and jump to a quick little summary. So to summarize everything we just learned, an AV block is a problem with the electrical conduction system of your heart, this bad boy. So signals from the upper chambers are either partially or completely blocked and can't make it to the ventricles, which are the bottom chambers of the heart. That's because there's a problem with the AV node, which stands for atrioventricular node. So on an ECG, almost everything will look normal. There will be a P wave, there will be a QRS complex, there will be a T wave. The rate will be normal, the rhythm will be regular, and QRS is normal. The only thing that's different is a very prolonged PR interval. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the basics on first degree AV block. I hope it helps. Don't forget the basics of life. Be kind and do good. Peace out, guys. Bye.